In true Absa Cape Epic tradition, stage one was a brutal challenge for all the riders. The day was characterized by a plethora of mechanical problems for the leading teams. Sars and Rabon lost time early on through a puncture. Leading women, Kleinant and Langfart of Riesium lost nearly half an hour after the Dane cut a sidewall and struggled to repair the damage. BMC had no fewer than five punctures to deal with. It was a day that reduced tough men to tears. Today I felt uh, I felt really great. We've been going on the climbs. And I felt easy and uh, very nice. Urs as well. And then like 20 kilometers before the finish, I don't know what happened, but uh, all energy from Urs left completely. There was nothing, nothing left. I never saw him uh, like uh, in this condition. Hopefully he's not getting the stomach back now. I feel a little bit better now. Yeah. Now it's till tomorrow, sleep and uh, eat so much that I can and then I hope it's better. The Bulls weren't the only team to lose time to physical issues. Multiband Merida's yellow jersey pair lost an hour and a quarter to their rivals. Between 1.1 and 1.2 I started to feel really bad and then uh, it came out an um, uh, allergy reaction to food. In the morning it looks like uh, something was in my, in my breakfast or in my muesli or whatever. And I got a reaction, really bad reaction. Our main goal is to start tomorrow, finish tomorrow, and then go by day, day by day. And for sure finish uh, the epic. This is, this is a goal. Centurion voter Marcus Kaufman and Jochen Case steered clear of late dramas and won the stage. It put them into the leaders' yellow jerseys. And Esther Suss and Sally Bigham took the stage when ahead of Jenny Stenach and Theresa Ralph, the 2012 champions now in the leaders' orange jerseys. It's all change in the general classification. Case and Kaufman hold a 41-second lead of a BMC mountain bike racing. Sars and Rabon moving up from 9th to 3rd. Multivan Merida are now out of contention after Hamida's problems. The Bulls are just under 5 minutes back. Lil and Wilcock are the new Absa Africa jersey wearers. Mirandol, Sus and Bigham are just under 20 minutes clear of Cape Brewing Company. Reese M2, Kleinance and Langfutter have plenty of work ahead of them if they want to reclaim the orange leader's jerseys. Team Synergy are the new leaders in the mix. Their advantage just over a minute and a half. Shan Wilson and Adrian Enthoven are the Masters blue jersey wearers for the first time. And a second stage win by Cyclab Toyota keeps McLean and Zorbeck ahead of Bucher and Brown in the Grand Masters. Stage 2 is more forgiving with 1,500 metres of climbing over 101 kilometres. However, the weather could play a major role. A fast start will take them into the isolated quaint village of McGregor. Festive atmosphere on the main street, water point. Tough to leave as they head into the Lungeberg. District roads take them at high speed through unspoiled landscapes. The day's toughest climb, Neil's Folly, comes at 75 kilometres. The semi-desert Karoo trails will be slick before they head back to the Breda River Valley and the finish at Arabella Wines. The scene at the start of stage two at the Absa Cape Epic. Arabella Wines just outside Robertson. With the rains overnight, riders will emerge from their tents with trepidation, especially for those who know how the weather can play a major role in the outcome of a mountain bike race. As they ride off the start line, it's not quite the usual kaleidoscope of colours of the leaders' jerseys, with many of the riders donning their rain jackets. Sally Bigham and Esther Suss, leaders of the women's category, are well dressed for the occasion, having learned from their experience two years ago in stage five when they were close to hypothermic. They turn into the wet and muddy roads. Connie Lusa in the yellow helmet, riding in front of Urs Huber, former partners they rode together in 2011 and 2012. Across the Breda River, slightly swollen after the deluge overnight. The Motrex loop guys at the tech zone will be busy at water point one. Already there's a selection at the front. Very few hangers on by the amateurs in this elite group. All the favourites are here. There's a move at the front. Team Topado Factories Roll Paulison and Ricardo Chiarini push hard. The contending teams will be looking to gain an advantage, now knowing that it takes Mirandal specialised Frantisek Rabon a little bit of time to warm up in the morning. Ariane Kleinans of Team ReCM. They have some work to do after a disastrous stage one when they lost 23 minutes. Annika Langfart, her Danish partner, two-time world marathon champion. Sally Bigham, one half of the Mirandal team, the other half, Esther Zeus, probably the most versatile ladies mountain biker active today. Hilke Elferink and Melena Lundvig challenging for the overall podium in the women's category. Oh, this is a mechanical for the yellow jersey wearer, Centurion Voda. It appears that Marcus Kaufman has broken his frame. It's likely their hopes of keeping the yellow jersey to Lawrenceford are gone.
Uber puts pedal to the metal, forming a small group including Tupata Factory and Topic's Christian Heineck. His partner Robert Menon will need to close that gap. Uber back to his best after stomach trouble yesterday. Team BMC soon join the front group. They're the virtual leaders on the road. Bad news for Mir and Alsongo Specialized, Rabon is not yet firing on all cylinders. Sousa keeps the rhythm and keeps the damage to a minimum. Topi Gergen are back in the chase group with the winners of the Prolog Multivan Merida, Bulls 2, Mirandal Centurion Wheeler and Fed Group Itech. Ben Bostrom, former World Superbike Champion, an amazingly versatile athlete. The Bulls, BMC and Topala Factory are all in, pressing home their advantage on the twisty technical dual tracks. Meanwhile, Mirandal Songo Specialized plague with mechanicals once again. The conditions are playing havoc with the equipment, especially the disc brakes. Rabon is used to road cycling where the mechanic will take care of all this. With the extra wear on the paths from the trail grit and mud, the calipers will need to be readjusted. Fortunately, they have the help from super roving mechanics Nico Bell and Eric Clanance of ReCM, and they get going quickly. Clanance is performing the role of domestique or team helper, helping pull his team leaders back to the front of the race. Head of affairs to Parda make a move while BMC's Martin Fanger has issues with his front derailleur. Jammed up for the trail muck, this will surely take its toll on him later. The Bulls are back in the chase group after Carl Plant had a nasty fall. He'll hide in the bunch hoping to recover, letting Topi Gergen's Robert Menon do the work to get them back. In there are Bulls 2, Mirandal Centurion and Fed Group Itech. Topada are hoping to make up for a bad day yesterday. Former marathon world champion and two-time Absa Cape Epic winner Roel Pullison will need to look after his partner Riccardo Chiarini, another roadie joining the mountain bike scene. BMC, Lucas Flukig and Martin Fanger sucked up by the chasers. Uber. Genza, Heineck, Menon, Platt, Loza, Burma, Steve John, Evans and Knox. Evans needs a helping hand from Knox. Evans perhaps not entirely on form after a series of illnesses. Scott support team Gert Haynes and Matthijs Bukas have been set free after some major mechanicals plagued their team leader. Ben Bostrom, assistant to Christoph Sauser for the duration of the week. Followed by his teammate Paolo Montoya. And then Frantisek Rabon, the man with big pressure on his shoulders. Back to the women's race, Kleinhans and Langfart get their chains lubed at water point one. A few seconds invested now can result in serious gains later, reducing wear and tear on the bikes. Susan Bigham leave the tech zone in hot pursuit. Just over two minutes back. Cape Brewing Company's Ralph and Stenerhach are a mere 30 seconds behind the Swiss-British duo. An impressive performance today. Topado and BMC working well together. They have a small lead heading into the town of McGregor. That tarmac will feel as smooth as silk after the rough trails and thick mud they've been through. They take a moment to take some nutrition on board and for some bike maintenance, but they can't linger. In the background, the chase pack looms. The gap stands at 45 seconds. Bulls, Platten, Huber, Mirandal, Centurion, Wheeler and Topi Kogan arrive in a scrum. The feeding ritual at the water point. They do the necessary, stashing some sustenance into their pockets, replacing spent bottles with fresh ones. They leave in a stream of mud. Topado are pushing the limit on the descent. BMC right on their tails.
the chase pack hunts together. There's a 50 second gap that they'll be keen to neutralize before it becomes a danger. Three and a half minutes back, Eric Kleinanz is doing sterling work to get his teammates Sousa and Rabon back into contention. Sousa has removed his shades, which are more dangerous than useful when covered in mud. The chase pack look as though they're gaining on Topado and BMC inch by inch. They have them in their sights. Uber driving the pace. Back in the high street of McGregor, the Sassel women's hotspot. The winners will get 15,000 Rand. With no challengers, Reesiem's Kleinanz and Langford earn the cash prize. Sus and Bigham trail by several minutes. And they're caught. Topado and BMC move to the back of the pack to conserve some energy, letting the others do all the work. Carl Platt seems to be feeling better after that hard fall. The Bulls duo look back to see who is present and accounted for in the group. A quick status check for any danger. Most riders have removed their dirt encrusted eyewear. They turn into a section that runs through a Cape Nature area. Robert Menon will be on the lookout for any wildlife after being hit by a buck last year, which ended his race with a broken collarbone. More winding trails, made even more challenging with the slippery surfaces caused by the rain over the last 24 hours. Annika Langfart leads Ariane Kleinanz. Their brakes protesting the weather conditions. Esther Sus and Sally Bigham are controlling the damage. Their rivals, Team Reesiem, are rampant today, gaining time hand over fist. Team Mirinda will ride within their limits with a 20 minute plus buffer, but they'll be well aware that there are still five stages to go after today. Great to see Ursuba back on form after seeing a shadow of his superb self yesterday. Platt leads Robert Menon and Christian Heineck of Topi Gergen. Full support team of Steve John and Burma with a cleaner Burma having removed his rain jacket. Riccardo Chiarini is a road cyclist like Rabon. He's slower on the technical section and has to spend a lot of energy chasing back. It's clearly having an impact. Frantisek Rabon driving the pace. The turbos are beginning to fire on the diesel engine. But with their mechanicals, they've got a lot of work to do. The Bulls and Topi Gergen are away. It's now between these two teams. Topado Factory. Chiarini is feeling the effect of their earlier efforts. Oh, Carl Platt's post-crash adrenaline is wearing off. He'll be feeling it right now. His partner Urs Huber is up the tracks and will need to back off to avoid putting him under unnecessary pressure and losing contact. Team Topi Gergen have ridden away. With the pressure that Heineck is piling on, Menon dare not take his hands off the handlebars. Rolls are reversed today. Huber has to wait for Platt, who is also having mechanical trouble. His front shifting mechanism is jammed. Mir and Dalsongo Specialized are riding out the curse. Mechanicals have scuppered their overall chances. They'll hope for better days over the rest of the week. The conditions are warming up and so is the pace. Heineck's jacket zip is jammed up with mud. If they win today, he won't be able to show off his sponsors, Topi Gergen. Platt is being nursed to the finish. Body language speaks volumes for his condition today. The revelation of this year's Absa Cape Epic rookie Christian Heineck has been on the front, breaking the win for Robert Menon for 10 kilometers, all part of their strategy. A bigger rider driving the pace on the flats. Ariane Kleinanz and Annika Langfart gained minutes on their rivals today. It's a race against the clock. Wearing the orange Zebra women's leaders jerseys, Esther Suss and Sally Bigham.
Flying in third today, Jenny Stenerhach and Teresa Ralph of Cape Brewing Company. They'll be looking forward to enjoying their sponsor's wares at the end of the week. The race village at Arabella Wines awaits. Robert Menon and Christian Heineck have done it. Their first stage win, the heights of glory for Menon after the depths of disappointment after his retirement last year. Menon acknowledges the superb Christian Heineck after the previous day's punctures. After losing on the swings on stage one, they gained on the roundabouts today. The look on Platt's face says it all. He has shown the utmost respect by his partner Uber. He's dug deep today. They finish one minute and 25 seconds back. Superb ride from young Steve Jan and Burma. Bulls too come into their own. After a disastrous crash early in the stage, Centurion voters Kaufman found he'd broken his carbon fibre frame. After some makeshift repairs, they limped home trailing by an hour, knowing they'd lost their new yellow jerseys. Inheriting those zebra stripes from Kaufman and Case, the Bulls certainly deserve their place on the podium after a gutsy performance out on the course today. In the women's category, Kleinanser and Langfart are eating into Suss and Bigham's general classification lead. If they have more days like today's stage, they could well be on schedule to take back the lead by Friday. But they'll take it day by day. Team Mirandal have other ideas. The former winners will do all they can to resist the Swiss-Danish onslaught. Team Riesiem victorious today, but almost unrecognisable after navigating the muddy trails on stage two. Susan Bigham hold on to their lead, but concede an ominous eight minutes today. Kleinans and Langfart on top at the end of a long day out. And Mirandal relieved to have retained their orange jerseys. Yeah, it's really tough this year. Um, the field is uh, really bright. So it's not uh, one or two uh, fast teams. It's really a lot of good teams. And uh, the weather this year is uh, it's also special. I mean, today uh, a lot of rain in the beginning, a lot of mud, and uh, that makes it not easier. Yeah, I mean... Uh before the epic there was uh, lots of pressure going on <clears throat> the media made a uh, nice um, talk about Sousa and uh, myself so um, <coughs> we had a pretty bad start in, uh, into the epic <clears throat> actually we were feeling great and uh, I had a stomach bug on Saturday evening so in the prologue I was uh, quite happy just losing uh, two minutes <clears throat> And uh, yeah, yesterday we were not right. I mean, the legs were good, but uh, we never could bring it to the finish line. And uh, finally today, in the beginning, it looks like uh, we're not lucky again because I had a, I had a stupid crash. I mean, it was uh, dangerous and um, it was very slippery out there. And then all of a sudden I just missed uh, a line and then uh, my front wheel went and uh, I crashed. So I was lying on the ground and uh, had to find myself first and uh, my motivation went a little bit and uh, I was hurting everywhere and uh, yeah but we are fighters and so we start catching up and um, yeah finished second very happy. Yeah, yesterday I think we were about 22 minutes behind on GC. Um, today we made up a little bit less than nine minutes, uh, which shows us it's still possible. We could still uh, win this race if everything goes goes well. Uh, you never know <laughs> if there's any other mechanicals going to happen. But yeah, we're confident. We know that we, we have the strength. And if we can keep on riding like that, and yeah, nothing bad happens, hopefully yeah, we can catch up some more time. Confirmation of Menon and Heineck's threat to the rest of the contenders. Team Bulls showed they're anything but a spent force. Klein Unsen Bell, Shepard and Mirandal Songo specialised and with the first African team home. The third different team in yellow. Team Bulls have one minute and nine seconds in hand over Topi Gergen. Just under six minutes separates the top four. Fed Group have regained the Absa Africa leader's jersey. Recm 2 returned to form with an impressive ride in the wretched conditions, finishing eight minutes and 46 seconds ahead of Mirandal's Sus and Bigham.
Mirandal's overall lead has been cut to 13 minutes and 54 seconds. Cape Brewing Company have almost 37 minutes in hand over Landvik and Elvenrink. Lincoln and Hallbox of Team Synergy took a second stage win in the mix. Frenchers and Azevedo recovered from their stage one troubles to win the Masters and Cyclab Toyota took their third straight win in the Grand Masters. Team Synergy now lead the resurgence Cerise Stunder and Theo Blicknote by just under 20 minutes. Wilson and Enthoven's lead has been cut to 5 minutes and 23 seconds and McLean and Zorbeck continue to reign supreme. After battling through the torrential morning rain and mud-covered trails around Robertson, the true warriors of the Absa Cape Epic roll across the finish line at Arabella Wines. Relief and pride at completing a hard day. The Woolworths recovery zone is the first port of call, where tired riders replenish spent resources. And those with some energy to spare, head for some shopping and stop by at the official off-the-bike clothing supplier stand. And official portable power supply partner Amped keep the Race Village residents' devices up and running. Stage 3 is the longest of the race at 134 kilometres with 1800 metres of climbing. As the field moves from the succulent Robertson crew to the farmlands of Grayton. They'll eat kilometres over the fast district roads early on before they head into the Melozori Game Reserve where an encounter with a buck will not be unusual. The big drop is not plain sailing. Following the Rafis on end river, they'll hit the short rocky puff at a hill. More rolling hills will clock up the Ks, but there is a sting in the tail just before the brand new race village at Oaks Estate near Grayton.